um, the experience, like training with Manny, is actually nothing new. Because a lot of people don't know I've trained with Manny in the past as an amateur. Manny Robles actually helped me get to the Olympics. Because um, we, we had a, the Olympic qualifier here at The Rock, at The Rock Gym back in, back in 2012. And that's when me and Manny started developing. And also, he was with us during Matter of fact, in 2011 for the Worlds. So I've been around Manny for over, you know, over 11 years now. So it's, it's nothing new. It's actually more of, um, you know, strengthening that chemistry that we had back then. Uh, what's it like training and working with Jamal Herring? It's excellent, excellent, man. We're having a blast. You know, we, we've had a long relationship. We, we, we're, we've been friends for quite some time now. I worked with them back with the, uh, Team USA back in 2012 for the U.S. Olympics. And prior to that, the World Championships, uh, the, the Olympic qualifier and so forth and so on. So it's been, you know, now that we're together again, uh, working as a professional level, it's been nothing but fun and we're looking forward to his next uh, fight come uh, May 21st. Um, what I know from my next opponent is, you know, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good fighter. I don't take nothing from him. I don't take nothing from or anything from away from Jermaine. He had, a, he had a very entertaining fight with my guy, um, Joseph Adorno, I think last year or the year before now. And, I, and, and it, it was a real entertaining fight, you know. He, but I believe that, um, you know, he just lacks the experience department. And, but, you know, like I said, when you have opportunities like this, fighters come a little bit hungrier, so I have to be sharp at all times. Uh, undefeated fighter, J Jermaine, Jermaine Ortiz, if I'm not mistaken, I hope I didn't uh, massacre his name. But he's a good fighter, he's legit, man. There's nothing easy about this guy. Uh, it's not a, it's not, he's not an opponent. He's, I shouldn't say an opponent, of course he's an opponent, but he's not a tuna fight. You know, this guy is coming to fight, he's coming to beat Jamal, and, He's undefeated, and we have to be ready for him. There's no such thing as a tuna fight for us. As I uh, uh, try to uh, let Jamal know, you know, this is he's a tough opponent. He's coming to win. This is the opportunity of a lifetime for him, and so we got to be ready for it. Um, you know, people people that doubt me is what keeps me hungry and motivated, especially when they feel like, oh, my time has came and went. That only motivates me. I mean, like I said, I, you you just seen. I train, I train my ass off in of here every day, no matter what. And I, and I, and I love being um, told what I can't, what I can't do. So that's what motivates me to keep going. I'm um, like, Manny, he's not here. He told me he's not here to change me, but he's here to just to tighten things up and add new things to my arsenal. He knows that I'm a, I'm a boxer. You know, like you say, people have this, um, this outlook because he's a Mexican trainer that I'm gonna go fight like a Mexican fight. He's like, no, I mean, like I said, that's why, that's why you know, I, I chose to come to Manny because I ha I've, I've had chemistry with Manny from the amateurs, and the amateurs, you got a box. You know, back then it was all about point scoring. So, um, no, Manny, it's just more about, you know, tightening and tightening things up and, you know, just working on a, a, a smart game plan that'll, that'll help me get to the next victory. Well, look, I, I know him very well, so we're just trying to pick up for uh, uh, from where we left off back back in and the amateurs obviously like I said this isn't the amateurs any longer but I've been following his career throughout you know I've been proud very proud of him for what he's been able to accomplish but now that we're working together at a professional level uh, yeah we've made some changes to his game you know getting sit on his punches stay low uh, work on his defense offense ring generalship and so forth and so on you know, just trying to make him a, a better a better fighter. Smart fight, you know. I'm, I'm not trying to do anything out of my element. That, that's when you get knocked off your game plan, trying to do stuff that you're not, you know, you're not accustomed to doing. But you can, you can definitely um, expect a fighter that feels like he has his back against the wall. So I'm definitely going to leave it all in the ring. Well, um, no stone, no stone unturned. I'm definitely going to leave it all in the ring. And like I said, I'm, I'm hungry, I, I, and I, and I want this victory bad, especially, especially against another undefeated fighter. I want that. I want that up. Uh, a tactical fight on Jamel's, uh, Jamel's end, you know what I mean? We got to fight smart and we have to see what the kid's going to bring to the table. You know, if he's going to come in and bang, then we have to be smart. We have to uh, control the center of the ring, work off the jab and everything, ev let everything flow from there. Oh, victorious on, on, on the 21st of May. For me, for me, um, I would like to either fight for a world title at, at 130 pounds, cause I can still make the weight. You see me now. I'm, I don't. I don't blow up. 
I can still make the weight, or if, if a huge opportunity comes at lightweight at 135, I'm okay with that as well. I know for a fact though, I'm rated, I'm still rated at number two by the Ring Magazine, and Oscar Valdez is rated number one, while Shakur is, is the lineal champion, so I'm, I'm proud of that as well. So, you know, if, um, you know if, like I said, if I get into the big fights and again after this victory, hey, sign me up. Um, you know, like I said, man, I just want to thank everyone out there who stuck by me through, you know, thick and thin. Um, but May 21st, expect a very, very good explosive fight. I'm telling you, please don't, don't miss it. Don't miss it. May 21st, Las Vegas.